John Les here of Les Archery Adventures. Serious testing, successful hunting. Today I'm going to be testing another hybrid head by SWAT. Okay, I tested one a while back and you can check that out here on my channel. But thank you to George who donated this head to me. I'm able to test the, uh, the titanium hybrids here. So uh, this is going to be pretty interesting to see how it does and how it did compared to the other head that I tested. So for all these tests, I'm using my Bowtech SR6 set at 72 pounds, and I'm using Bishop FOC King arrows for most of the shooting, and I'm using the, uh, the Bishop Thad Eliminator for the really hard impact shots. So let's zoom on in here, go through some of the design features and specifications, and then see how the SWAT Titanium Hybrid performs. Here's the hybrid TI close up. Pretty cool looking head. And as you can see, I have it in the, uh, the fully open position. Here's what it looks like in the closed position. In the closed position, man, it has a super low profile and that's going to fly really well. Upon impact, the blades are forced back. They were like close like that. They're forced back into the open position. So you can either shoot it as a mechanical and have that really extremely low profile, or you can shoot it as a fixed blade head like this, and it still has a really low profile because the overall length is really short. The ferrule is made out of titanium, the ferrule and the tip. The, uh, the blades are made out of stainless steel and they're uh, a healthy 0 0.040 inches thick. The total cutting diameter is a little over 1.3 inches. So the total cut on this short little head is two and five eighths inches. So that's a nice healthy cut over two and a half inches from this small broadhead. Now they say it comes in three weights in 85, 100, and 125. And you get it just, I, I think, in the 85 grain weight, though the ones that I got each weighed 92 grains. So they're a little bit over that. And then you add uh, one of the weight rings, one of the weight collars that they come with. This is a 10 grain weight collar. So by adding this to the back, you just slide it in there uh, and screw it on, it comes out to 102 grains. So then you can add a heavier uh, little weight collar and it'll get up to 125 grains. So it's nice to have that kind of modularity. You get the modularity in weight as well as the modularity in whether you want to shoot it as a mechanical or as a fixed blade head. So I'm really eager to put this head to the test and see how it's going to perform. I'm going to be testing it as a mechanical um, because that's what the guy who gave me the, the broadheads who donated them to me wanted me to do. So I'm going to be testing it as a mechanical and see how it performs. And I'm going to be using all the tests that I do for 2021. And if you want a description about those tests and explanation of them, please read about them in the description box below this video. Let's see how this hybrid TI performs. Two hundred. It penetrated seven and three quarter inches. Here's the entrance hole of the SWAT, and as you can see, the blades don't open at all on impact, at least in this medium. But by the back of the uh, the rubber foam mat after the MDF, by the time it hit the gel, they were in their full open position, and they stayed that way all the way through the penetration in the gel. Now, some broadheads don't open correctly on a soft medium like a, a rubber foam mat here. So in a case like this, I like to do a blade opening test, and I'll do that a bit later. Two seventy five. It penetrated through thirty three layers. Now I'm going to test the opening of the blades on this thick piece of leather that's stretched really tightly over this cardboard box. Even on the leather, the blades didn't open at all on impact. It's hard to see in this picture, but they're in the fully closed position. However, by the back of the box, you can see the exit. Three of the blades opened fully, and one of them just kind of partially opened. So here's the SWAT after two shots into the MDF. And on the first shot, it did well. The second shot, it lost three of its blades in the MDF. They were still sticking 
uh, through on the, uh, the the outside, like they didn't penetrate all the way through, and they just came off. And if you look at each of them, they broke off at the uh, at the point that they make like a little hole for the pin. So that's you know that's a weak place in a lot of the mechanical heads, but man, it was definitely a weak point in this head. The ferrule is still in good shape. The blades, not so much. Here's the head after impacting the concrete, and it did really well. You can see that the tip uh, stayed intact, it got a bit blunted there, and it has a slight wobble to it. I don't know if you can pick that up, but it definitely has a wobble. Of course, the blades never deployed because it's not going to penetrate that deeply into the concrete, and they got a bit nicked up where they did impact it. But overall, that did fairly well. So what do you think of this SWAT? You know, it certainly has some great strengths. Man, the profile in the closed position is just incredible. It flies so extremely well. Even in the open position, it flies really well. And you saw how well the durability uh, was in that zero penetration test. But man, when it comes to that blade retention in hard impacts, um, that's just not my uh, favorite part of this broadhead, so to speak. So um, there, there are some strengths to it, and maybe it's the right head for you. I know a lot of people have used it and, and really swear by it, and more power to you. But check out the score sheet and see how it performed in the areas that matter to you the most, and see if it's the right head for you. <laughs>